Okay, are we done? Can I go, please? <laughs> <laughs> that was good, I liked that. So good rules for being a BFF. Full stomach, Full happy stomach. friend. Have a friend that is a really good cook. <laughs> Shay, what do you cook me? I can make a really good pasta sauce from scratch. True, marinara yes. and mac and cheese. Mac Damn. and cheese with a little truffle. <laughs> um, chives. Rule number two, like the same shows. If you don't, that's a very big problem, especially if you live together. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately for us, we liked the same shows. She actually got me into a lot of shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who likes your show? Find a friend who likes your show. Know each other's pet peeves. Pet peeves and do it up to a certain amount, but then know when they're really gonna blow and stop. Yes. Know your limit, stay within it. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to read each other's minds. Yeah, be a little bit of a mind reader. Having like so much history that, you know, bringing up one certain, like, reminder of it can trigger laughter. Or you can, like, stare at each other and just be like, what do I want to eat right now? Yes, I love doing that. I do love doing that. What is it now? Pizza. Yeah, done. Well, help your friends with their Instagram when needed. Yeah, and if you don't, you'll get power dialed <laughs> and power texted until you do. Yeah. She does it to me all the time. <laughs> and Appreciating and acknowledging your friend mm -hmm. and showing them in special little ways. Like love notes. Like breakfast burritos. Last rule, the final rule, like the make it or break it. Yeah. No one to give each other space. Yeah. It is. Too much togetherness is not a healthy thing.